it's kind of a rainy day out here today, but I've been working on trying to get the hood to fit. It's a uh, it's pretty rough along this side right here. It's it took a hot, this car took a shot one time here, and I'm having a hard time getting it to perfect. Uh, this side as well, something really strange when the hood lays down on on the the uh, weather stripping. It actually it's, it just like raised up right here where I've got this cut. It is just raised up, and I can't get it to sit down nice and flat. So I went ahead and cut it right along here, and then I just kind of wallered it out just a little bit, you know, it's even a sixteenth of an inch or whatever. I'm going to put a little patch plate behind here, and uh, now it looks pretty nice. It sits down good against the uh, the weather strip. Okay, I've gone and pulled a fender off here, and I'm putting a piece of uh, brown paper up against the car here, and I'm rubbing where it hits the edge of the car all the way down. I'm making a template actually. I'm going to use that piece of plywood out there. I'm going to cut, take this template, lay it on the plywood and cut the plywood to match this curvature and then I'll be able to make myself a little little bench to uh, block these fenders down. So I'll have to make two. I have to make one for this for the front and one for the back and I will just have to kind of flip it over from side to side to uh, do all four fenders. Okay, I'm out here working on the Bondo. You can see I went ahead and took this fender and blocked it off when it was on the stand and now I've got it bolted back to the, uh, to the body here. Pretty good. It's still got a couple of little tiny little warblers in it. But it feels pretty good. I can I can take care of a lot of that while it's on the, the car. But I've actually put Bondo here and there, trying to bring all of this together. And it fits pretty darn nice. Gone ahead and smeared a little Bondo here on the front, taking care of all this, trying to make this look real nice. I've gone ahead and put uh, first and second coat of Bondo here on this fender while it's on the car. Want to make sure that while it's bolted in place, the Bondo has a chance to, you know, set up where it's going to finally be. I don't want to take the fender off, put Bondo on it, and then bolt it in and have it like pull it and crack it or something. So I want to let this set up a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this fender off and put it on my uh, my jig here and uh, get ready to block it out and get it as close as possible and then put it all back together. Okay, here's a little uh, stand that I whipped together from my paper template. Got some little screws holding the fender in to the plywood. And a couple of legs. And I kind of balanced it out here on the driveway so that it doesn't move, so I can buff on it pretty good. I marked the driveway down here. Can't see it, it's right under the edge of that board. But I marked it so that I know exactly where to put it back there again when I have to work on it again. But I'm, I'm scraping on this fender, trying to get ready for the second layer of Bondo. All right, well, I took this fender off. I filled it a couple times, buffed it down, got it really, about as nice as I can get it. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of a final finish later, but it's nice and smooth. It fits up here real well. Everything fits pretty, pretty, pretty good here in the front. But I've also gone ahead and cleaned up this whole edge right here, under here where the little rubber thing goes, all the way around. I smoothed all this out right here. So that's basically ready like for the first layer of primer. I'm going to start working on the hood now.